Google Ads Access and Security is essentially going to be your portal for managing the access into your account. And there's some security elements too, which we'll dive into. But I just want to give you a quick overview, walk you through how all this is set up. Just make it a little bit easier for you to um, manage users and security in your account. So when you have your Google Ads account pulled up, at the very top you'll see this tools and settings icon here. Your setup might look a little bit different, but there should be a setup um, column somewhere. And if you click on access and security, <clears throat> then it's going to take you to a page that looks like this initially. And depending on how many users you have, you'll have each user listed here, as well as their access level when they last signed in, and their authentication method. So Google Ads is starting to require two-step verification, and you'll be able to see that as well as who invited them. So if you invite somebody, it'll say that it was invited by you. And then you can also remove access and see when users were added and everything here. So this is, you know, the user management. You can click here to add new users. I have a whole video that goes into adding new users, um, which I'll link in the description below if you want to watch that. Uh, but there's also these other options up here that most people are a little confused by. And so we'll take a little further look into these. So this is the users and users is going to be people within your organization, which it'll make more sense when we get to the last element, the security element here. But um, if you want to think of it through domain email, like Travis at example.com, <laughs> right? Uh, that would be a domain email that would be like somebody in the organization and so then you could have sarah at example.com and tom at example.com and all of these different emails within one organization and that's going to be the users section typically if you want to add somebody from outside of your organization like say an agency that runs your ppc ads then you would actually want to do that from the managers section here so if you click on managers here it's going to take you to a page that looks like this and if you don't have any managers added in then it's going to be blank because managers have to request access to your account so if you have a ppc agency that wants to work with you they'll most likely request the ad id in the top right hand corner of your account it looks like a phone number and then they'll take that put it into their manager account and then you'll get a pop-up in here that'll say such and such agency is requesting access to your account and then you can approve it or deny it or remove and manage the ownership or the access just like you would with regular users the difference is users are you know people within your company typically managers are outside like companies ad agencies stuff like that and then security this last section here is is related to uh, this first column remember we were saying how you can add a whole bunch of people on one domain well it it's sort of set up that way it actually has allowed domains right here so if you click on this you can edit the allowed domains so you could do you know example.com and you could add in let's say you have two or three companies that you're advertising in one Google Ads account and you have a manager from each company you know you could add in the different domains and then the team members from that you know those different organizations would be able to log into the account and then of course you would need to click save here to save that um, and then you've got you know identity verification two-step verification all that good stuff some security suggestions but the main thing when it comes to security is this allowed domains in fact if you try to add a user into your account that's not uh, part of one of your allowed domains it's just not going to allow you to do that it's going to give you an error message and then you actually have to come over here click in here add another domain you know whatever it is gmail.com or whatever and then save it and then you'll be able to add that person with that domain and google has set that up such that you can't just have random people getting added into the account right and it's it's a kind of a a second layer of security because you know, ultimately you don't want random people in your account that don't belong in there. So, <laughs> um, I hope this was helpful as a, a way to understand Google Ads access and security on a deeper level. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. 
look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Um, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and in different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you